Hello, in this lesson we're going to think about adding one practically. We really want to again reinforce that use of vocabulary and really get the child thinking about using that mathematical vocabulary and, that, and developing that mathematical discussion. We're going to focus on words like more, add, bigger, plus, all together, equals and really start to use that variety of vocabulary again with our children. We're going to use, again, very practical methods. We're going to use activities and resources that you have around the house. And we're going to start very, very easily with just adding one more practically. So, Aaron, I'm going to ask you, how many cubes have you got? Seven. Could you double check for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, and again, reinforcing that idea of double checking, checking with counting because children can make very simple mistakes when they are counting. Okay, Aaron, so you've got seven. I want yeah. you to add one more. Could you do that, please? Yeah. Okay, cubes are great for this because you can actually, that physical adding of one can actually really be demonstrated with cubes. So how many have you got now? Eight. Can you double check? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven. One, oh, so you're going to check again? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. So seven and one more makes? Eight. Good job. Okay, this time how many cubes have you got? Two. Okay, could you add one more? Yeah. And again, reinforce your child, reinforce that sentence and actually get them to say that sentence, I have two cubes and I add one more, now I've got three. Ooh, oh, you're all falling apart. Just a little. Okay. So tell me what happened. How many cubes did you have? Two. What did you do? Add one more. And how many have you got now? Good job, well done. So really that practical aspect of actually physically adding one more and you can do that with lots of different objects in lots of different ways. Now, now we want to move on to maybe some games. You want to, um, to really get your child to start visualising that one more. So Aaron, we're going to play a little game, okay? I'm going to show you how many cubes I have in my hand and then I'm going to add one more and you're going to see if you can guess how many I have, okay? Mm -hmm. So I've got this many cubes. Three. Okay, and I'm going to add one more. How many do you think I'm going to have in my Four. hand? Four. Correct. Well done. Okay, this time I have how many in my hand? Two. And I'm going to add one more. How many is going to be Three. in my hand? No. Excellent. Well done. And even little guessing games like that to start really getting your child to visualise that joining of two numbers to make another number, to make a bigger number. Okay, Aaron, now this time I'm going to get you to use your fingers, okay? So, I'm going to do it first, all right? Yeah. This time I'm going to show you how many fingers? Four. Careful. I mean three. Okay, and I'm going to add one more. Four. Four. And actually show that physical joining of the numbers. Okay, Aaron, I'm going to ask you to do one for me now, okay? Can you show me okay. five fingers? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and can you add one more? How many have you got? Six. Six. And actually let your child take on that role of teacher as well and let them ask you the questions because it, it really develops that idea of those mathematical concepts. So Aaron, do you want to ask me a question about adding one more? Yeah. Okay, not too hard now. Okay. Is it A trillion add one more a bit too hard, mm, maybe, maybe something a bit smaller. <laughs> 99 add one more. 99 and one more is that 100? Good. So again, letting having that fun and having that interaction, just making it fun and making it allowing them to actually have that wee bit of um, ownership as well over it. Now we're going to move on to starting to record that one more. We're going to think about actually ways of recording it. I wouldn't jump into using formal numbers just yet, but we can use those visual representatives and um, symbols and drawings and little pictures. And feel free to draw whatever you want. If your child likes dogs or cars, we're just going to use. Um, little X is just for 
a quick, quick method. So I've got here two little sets with numbers in them and I'm just going to ask Aaron to draw one more and then count what he's got now. So Aaron, how many have you got in this circle? Five. Okay, could you add one more? Yep. I would encourage you to get your child to do this in a different colour as well, just so that they can see that difference of they've added one more, but they have got one full set. Okay, so you had five, you added one more. Six. Now you've got six, so five plus one makes... Six. Six, okay. Could you think of another word that means the same as makes? Five plus one... Equals six. Equals six. And again, reinforcing that vocabulary as you go along. Okay, this time, how many have you got in your little set? Three. Three. Could you add one more? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Using your different colour. Okay. Could you tell me what you've done now? You add one more. Okay, so you had? Uh, three. Then what happened? I add one more. So now how many have you got? Okay, good job. So again, just something very simple that doesn't take time and that can be done in five minutes of preparation. What we then want to do is we want to think about maybe again playing some dice games and really getting children to get that more abstract idea of counting on in their heads and we will explore that more when we talk about mental strategies but it might be a very nice idea just to start a little game where they have a dice and they throw four and you could even make a little dice that only has one more on it and they add them up and count them up. Um, and then what we want to do is we want to finally start to get that representation down using the actual symbols and start to think about more um, the more formal um, writing down and recording of the number sentences. So in this one we've just got again not going into numbers just yet but we've got those pictures to represent this adding one more. So this time I've got my number, my adding sign, my one more and my equals sign. So this time Aaron you're going to add it all up for me. Tell me what this says first so get your child to read it and actually get used to using those symbols and using that, that vocabulary. Five plus one Equals. Oh, so you're going to be able to work it out? Yes. Okay. I know. And can you write the answer? Yep. Okay, not in numbers, just you could use um, your symbols for now. Okay, so what's your answer? What? Six. Okay, so read it all for me and tell me what you've written. Uh, five plus one equals six. Good boy. Do you think you could show me that using your fingers? Yeah. Show me using your fingers. Five add one equals six. Very good. Do you think you could show me using cubes? Yeah. Okay. How many have you got there? Five. Okay. Ooh. And what are you going to do? Add one more equals six. Okay, so again, using that different style, uh, those different contexts, those different um, tools to really get that understanding and get that basic foundation so that your child is really understanding those those drawings, those representations, and actually relating those numbers to the objects. So again, keeping it really practical, keeping it really interactive, and really using all those tools to the best advantage to make sure that your child is becoming really proficient and really um, confident with that basic mathematical adding one more.